Hello everyone.、Uh, thank you for your patience. My name is Sota Watanabe, founder of Asta Network. So recently we rebranded from Plasm to Asta Network because of the, some reason. So in this crowdcast, I'm going to talk about the reason why we rebrand. And Martin is going to introduce our new ambassador program. But maybe、uh, could you introduce yourself, Martin, first? Yeah, sure.、Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Martin. I'm a VP of growth for a Star Network, previously known as、uh, Plasma Network. Happy to be here. And I will introduce the new revamped ambassador program. And I hope we get some community members who are interested in joining. I will explain how you can join our ambassador program. And I hope we will get some applications from you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Can you see my screen right now? Yes. Cool.、Uh, let's see the, our crowd on status first. So, we joined the third auction, and the only she didn't join third auction at this moment. And we are still the, doing crowd r o m so anyone can contribute KSM from this page. And by locking KSM token, you are going to get Shiden token after launching Shiden tokens, Shiden network successfully. So if we win the auction,、uh, we are going to launch Shiden network next week. And after that,、uh, this is the project milestone. So, after becoming a k s a m a parachain, we have to stabilize a、uh, network itself. So, we are going to have own, our own collator. And we are going to increase the number of collators step by step. And we're going to enable transfer and smart contract. And after that, we are going to implement DAPS staking. So, I'm going to talk about our new product today. And I will show you a demo. So let's see. So recently,、uh, actually, yesterday,、uh, we changed our brand from Plasma Network to Asta Network. Asta comes from Astra. Astra is the star in Latin language. And we're going to be、uh, Asta Network from yesterday, previously known as Plasma Network. I know、uh, a lot of questions c o m e from the community. And the Plasma Network has a lot of tracking records. So we would like to use these tracking records as well. So we're going to say Asta Network, previously known as Plasma Network for coming two months. Yeah,、uh, Asta is born today. So Asta Network is a Polkadot DAPS hub supporting Ethereum virtual machine, WebAssembly, and Layer 2 solution. So, the reason why we rebranded is that we are Plasm, not Plasma. So, Plasma is the layer two solution which was originally implemented in Ethereum by、uh, Vitalik and also Joseph Poon. And a lot of people are confusing about the relationship between Plasm and the Plasma. So, Plasma is the layer two solution for transaction, token transfer. So, Plasma is the NOS solution for the smart contract. So, we originally started implementing Plasma in the Polkadot space, but we expanded our vision because our development is faster than we expected. So, Plasma is a smart contract hub in Polkadot ecosystem. But because of the name, many people are misunderstanding. So, a lot of people, a lot of the investor, a lot of developer, Think that Plasm, Plasm is a layer two project in a Polkadot ecosystem. And they are making something like scaling solution, like ZK Rollup or Plasma and so on. But definitely we are not.、Uh, our core advantage is, is the multi virtual machine implementation and the, our DAPS staking. So we are making a smart contract hub, Polkadot native smart contract hub. Some of the other projects are implementing Ethereum compatibility, but、uh, Ethereum compatibility is not a differentiator because the, it is implemented by p a r i t y technologies as common goods. So, all parachain can support Ethereum compatibility from day one.、And、that's why we are also implementing WebAssembly 
as well as Ethereum virtual machine. So Asta Network is born as a Polkadot DApps Hub, which means we are going to support WebAssembly, Ethereum virtual machine, and the Layer 2 solution. Yeah, this is the new web page. Uh, we are going to launch our application in weeks. So you can you can go to your application page by clicking use app button. So yeah, we are making a marriage chain polkadot dapps hub. In the next week, I think we are going to connect our Shiden network, our canary network to Xama chain. And after that, we're gonna connect Asta network to Polkadot as a parachain. In addition to that, we are making Ethereum bridge, Cosmos bridge, and other bridges right now. So anyone can bring Ethereum asset to Polkadot through Asta network. So the frequently asked question from the community is what is the difference between Asta network and other parachain? like Moonbeam, Akala, and so on. So we have uh, at least three original implementation. So first one is DAPS staking. In a long, run, long story short, all smart contract developer can arm as the token by making smart contract, by making infrastructure. On the other hand, if you are developing something on the top of other parachain, you have to pay gas fee. You're gonna lose value because you are paying the gas fee by native token. But in case of our product, you have to pay the gas, but you have to, you can, you can get basic income from block rewards based on performance. So basic income is the one of the core feature for Astra network. And also we are supporting Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly from day one. So you can deploy Solidity contract, Ink contract, and other WebAssembly compatible smart contract languages, smart contracts on Asta network. And also we are supporting Layer 2 solution, especially rollups. So uh, Ethereum community are all in on rollups, either ZK rollup or optimistic rollup, and they can use exactly the same contract on Asta network because we are supporting rollups. And this is our backer. We are backed by Binance, uh, Hypersphere, Fembushi, Hobi, OKEX, and so on. So, yeah, uh, we have a lot of synergies regarding the you know centralized exchange integration. So, they're going to support our Polkadot parachain auction. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do our best to make our Polkadot cloud run successful. Cool, and also I would like to show you our new product. Uh, I'm building just a moment. Cool. Yeah, we are going to launch Plasma Network portal step by step. The first feature is balance. Uh, I integrated Polkadot.js to Plasma Network portal right now. So I can see my balance. I have a 9 million PLD testnet token, and I can transfer this token to other, you know, address by clicking here. And also DAPS page is the most important page. So anyone can create DAPS by clicking here. So this is my address. So I can, let's say, uh, I can upload my contract here. So I have a Flipper contract and you can see the, the, the functions here. And if you have uh, enough PLD token, you can upload your contract on the web page. And once you uploaded your contract, you can see your smart contract here, and you can list up this contract on our marketplace. So marketplace will be added here. And the PLM token holder can stake their token on DAPS as well as network. 
by doing so, the nominator and also uh, DApps developer can um, token. This is going to be a basic income. Cool. Uh, that's it from my side. And Martin is going to talk about Ambassador program. OK, cool. Um, thanks for the presentation. So it's a, um, let me share my screen now. Okay, great. So I'm going to be talking about our new revamped ambassador program. Um, why are we doing this? Actually, we want to be on the lookout for active members of this community to help and support our ecosystem and to help promote and raise awareness of a star network. This is very important for us because we are a community driven project and we want to get as much community members involved in our ecosystem. We already have our ambassadors on board. Those ambassadors have been with us from day one or from the very early start. And they are still ambassador now, but we are still looking for new members and new community members to join our team um, to be much stronger for reaching out to other projects and to educate the community about our ecosystem. So, how will the workflow go? Um, actually, the total application will be on GitHub. I will share this link um, in the troll box so everyone can, can search for it. And here you will find all the criteria, all the benefits, everything invol involving the ambassador program can be, uh, can be seen in this GitHub page. Um, at the moment you apply for our application, you can just fill in the form and then you actually start your candidate um, as ambassador in our ecosystem. Now, as ambassador roles, we have different kind of roles um, um, in our program. First, everyone will start as a candidate. So the moment you apply, you will be starting as a candidate. Then you will have a one-on-one -on -one interview with me or someone else from the team. Um, to hear about your experience, to talk more about the program and how the ambassador program works. Then you become an ambassador in our ecosystem. Then we also have another uh, role that is senior ambassador. Those are more for the, for the users or for the community members who know a lot about our program, who are aware of everything about all updates and knows a lot about um, how to help the community. And then we will also have regional heads, um, but that is, that is more in the long term, and that is not for the moment. Then we have listed the clear criteria and expectations, what, about what we want for future ambassadors to join our program. So you have to have a good understanding of OSTAR vision, um, formerly known as PLASM. So you have to know more about um, the projects to become an ambassador. You must have um, experience with community engagement, meaning that you know how to reply politely to community members who have questions and so on, like our ambassadors are doing now in the official Telegram or on Discord. Um, and because we are community-owned blockchain, we want to have uh, more ambassadors in our ecosystem to help promote um, our project, our project actually. Expectations, we want to build and foster and grow a strong community in your region. Um, so if you join a progr program, you also need to be transparent about your contributions and tasks. Um, there are actually two different thing, contributions and tasks. So on the one hand, we will give some tasks to community members for, let's say we will organize a meetup in, in some region and then we will contact an ambassador to do more um, tasks for us in that region. And then we will give you some tasks or do some translations for us. And then we also have some contributions. Those are from the ambassadors themselves. They will do um, things by themselves, like organizing some AMA with the community, doing a crowdcast with the community that they are, that they are running, and so on. Um, then why we want to do why we want to have more ambassadors because we 
are thinking in the long term and we expect that the pandemic and the COVID crisis will slowly be gone after some time and then there will be more face-to-face -face meetups and events going on and it's possible that we will for example if there is an event in some kind of region where we can't participate then we will ask our ambassadors to go on behalf of the team to go to events for us and we also have a monthly ambassador call with all the ambassadors to um, to give all the updates around the projects and, and so on those ambassador calls are also public so everyone can see those calls later on our youtube channel and every quarter we will have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with ambassadors to know um, about their commitment and just to have a uh, an informal talk about the ecosystem and and questions that they might have so we really want to build um, a future of a star network and as a community driven project we need the community to help us build and grow our ecosystem here are some values that we um that we that we really like the new ambassadors to have so they must um, support the program now that's that, that is early support of the program what we mean with this because we are a very new projects we want to be go we want to go further with ambassadors who already know uh, knows a lot about the ecosystem now or have experience with the Polkadot ecosystem Kusama ecosystem your area uh, your expertise meaning that we value what you want to bring on the table is it marketing is it community management is it um, developer support we want everyone has to have an equal chance to become an ambassador because we are looking for all kinds of um, members on our on our board and then you will see another values that we take highly and you can go and watch those in our github as well and then we have a quarterly evaluation so like i was saying previously we will have a one-on-one -on -one every quarter where we will talk about your commitment and your task and just in a formal talk about how things are going if you have any feedback or questions for us um as for for, for a team or if you have questions for the community that you can answer at, a, at, a, at that time so how will we roll out this program so this week we are onboarding our current ambassadors to the program so everyone who's now an ambassador has applied to the program and we will have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with every ambassador next week and then we are also aware that some ambassadors will um, will leave the ambassador role because they don't have time anymore or um, they have other projects going on and then we want to onboard new ambassadors on week three where we will open everything for new candidates but it's already possible for everyone to apply at this stage but we will be contacting you after july the 20 uh, the 12th and um, about having those one-on-one -on -one meetings about your candidates application and that's everything i want to share about the ambassador program if you have any questions um, around the rebranding or around the ambassador state um, program, feel free to ask a question on below of the screen. You will have a button there, ask a question, and we will be answering your questions now at this moment. So I will stop sharing my screen and so that you can start with the questions. Thank you. all right uh thank you very much for your presentation so yeah uh i'm going to answer the, some of the questions from now so if you have a question feel free to post so first question is the plasm partner continue to suspect it now is as in asa network uh mario has already answered the question i think yeah, the so question is about if they are supporting the rebrand i think yeah, uh, definitely. So we have a uh, more than 50 partnership or collaboration and the, they're going to use Asta network instead of Prism. But uh, in coming two months, uh, they can say Prism as well, because we have our tracking records and the, we're going to advertise our name by using the 
Asta Network, Previo 3 Plasma Network, by using this name. Yeah, uh, the partner of Plasma Network are still supporting Asta Network. Yes. Yes, they, yes they, they are. We have been contacting all of our partners and um, future exchanges, and they were all like, very excited about the new name, the new logo, and looking forward to working further with us. There hasn't been any um, rejection or things like that from our partners, so everyone is supporting us with the rebrand and understands the vision why we are doing this. Because like um, in the question that's just um, answered, that's a typical mistake. We just thought that the, in the question, instead of using plasm, he was using plasma. Um, so it's also the autocorrect of, of the computer and, and, and the mobiles, they are always transferring plasm into plasma. And that's why a lot of in the media or on podcasts or things like that, investors and other YouTubers are using plasma instead of plasm. And mm -hmm. that wasn't what we are aiming to go for. So that's why we decided as a whole team to go for the new name. And we really think in the long term, it's the best way to go. And we are also aware that actually we as human beings are creatures of habit and we don't like the change when things are already known about. And we are aware of that, but we are also aware that in a month of three or four weeks, everyone will be um, talking about a star instead of plasma network. Yeah. Um... I have explained more than a thousand times that plasma is not plasm. <laughs> yeah. It is very tough. Yeah, it is. So it's very, we believe that it was necessary, not in the in the short term, but in the long term, yeah. that yeah. we will be more than just um, a layer two solution, but we will be focusing as a, a dap hub on both. And rebranding was necessary to get yeah. other yeah, mistakes in the future. It, it is. Cool. Yeah, thank you, Crypto Hunter 11. Uh, so, next question is It seems that the new ticker is ASTA, A S T A. Is it the final decision? So, actually, it is not decided because the, you know, many, many token scammers are very interested in uh, ticker name. So we will decide a ticker name uh, before launching, before listing our token at exchanges. And it should be decided by, yeah, with the tier one exchanges like Binance, OKEX, Hobi, and so on. Yes, correct. It will be in cooperation with all our exchanges to take the best ticker for our new token. So it will more be decided by all our partners and um, because we know that the exchanges have more experience on that part than us. So we will take um, all their advice on what to do with tickers. So we have support of Kraken, Binance, OKX, Hobie, the, and Qcon. They will all be supporting us in the rebrand and how to choose the best ticker for that. And we don't want to disclose the ticker name now because like Sota was saying, it's very important to um, yeah, to be aware of all the scammers out there that they will not use our ticker now and scamming people during the upcoming crowd loan or in the crowd loan that's now going on on Kusama. So Asta is just something we picked, but it's not finalized, so it can change. Yep. So. I feel I'm fairly prepared to be an ambassador. Nevertheless, I'm not entirely sure about the schedule of these type of program. How much time weekly is the minimum to be an ambassador? That's not, uh, we don't have a minimum of, of time to be an ambassador. We're just looking for people who are committed to the program. If they only have time for, let's say an hour a day, a couple of hours a day, or only a, a, some, some days a week that they can be, helping the ambassadors now in the official channel or starting a, a local community. Um, 
feel free to to apply and we can have a, a discussion about this and how will the rewards go for the ambassador we will be using that staking for that so we as a company so a star will deploy a smart contract in a marketplace where the ambassadors will be listed as well and they will earn block rewards through depth staking and so they will get um, a basic income as well through depth staking and um, but it's depending on also their commitment to the program and how much hours or they spend on a project but we don't have a minimum so if you are interesting i just want to say please apply because we are looking for all kinds of, of people helping off if you are a designer or just knows a lot about sales for example we maybe we can use you as an ambassador to help our team as well so feel free to apply yep and the also uh we have a basic income for ambassadors because the i decided that um my first the smart contract will be deployed as ambassador contract on Shiden as well as Asta. And the since we can get basic income from block rewards, so we're gonna distribute this fund to ambassadors. Depends on performance. Correct. Yeah. Uh, do you know if Binance will support the Polkadot parachain auction, and therefore we can continue dots to help Asta win the parachain? Uh, it is not disclosed by the Binance, but uh, I think they highly likely support parachain auction. But it's not decided yet. Yep. Uh, is the ambassador program a form somewhere between employment and volunteering? Um, you can say it's a little bit like that, yes, because like we were saying, it will be volunteering but you will get block rewards as a basic income actually and um, you will be working very closely with the, with the core team as well so you will have access on in our ambassadors channels on telegram and on discord where all our core team members are also there so and you will be working closely with us um, but it's still a little bit of volunteering because you will um, be doing maybe some contributions that we that you want to just do to help us to get more traction in the market or to get more developers. So you can see it both ways. Thank you. Yep. So last question is, will Asta have a redenomination of token for the lower supply? So, uh, yeah. So, PLM token holder will have a same value of the token when we launch Asta network. So you do not worry about the value, but in terms of the number of the token, since we issued too much to lock drop, so we will have a redenomination. But once we redenominate uh, the amount, the your value is the same because total supply will be decreased as well. Yes, correct. So the redenomination is already happening in the um, genesis of Shader Network. So everyone who already was holding the PLM tokens will have now SDN tokens, but it will also already be in redenomination. We have a total supply of 70 million. And if you are holding like, let's say 1 million PLM tokens, it will be divided by 1000. So you will have 1000 SDN tokens after the redenomination. And um, so the moment Shaden is a part chain, we will um, open our nodes so you can check your wallet and you, in case you already have PLM tokens, you will see the SDN tokens in your wallet as well. And during the first month after becoming a part chain, we will also be distributing all the rewards from those who joined the crowd loan. So it's possible after becoming a part chain that you will not get your tokens immediately but it will be in that one month of luck that we will calculate everything and make sure everyone will get the amount they deserve and um, based on the period you join the crowd loan. So I think that will answer the question. I also see in the troll box 
it's like a doa that's actually what we are going for in the long term becoming a, a, a decentralized anonymous organization and we are hoping to achieve that in the upcoming year so thank you and also thank you pld for commenting in the troll box oh, yes. being an ambassador for plasm is an amazing experience please feel free to apply i'm sure you won't regret it thanks a lot PLD. yes thanks a lot and he, yeah one of the big update uh, will be that's staking so yeah i would like to make decentralized autonomous organization so we're gonna pay the token from block rewards to ambassador that's what i would like to do as soon as possible once technology is ready yes yeah uh, i think we answered all the questions um yes so thank you everyone for taking time and joining our crowd loan, crowdcast sorry <laughs> And crowd loan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna launch the network in weeks, and the I hope we can launch Asta Asta network in months. And the yeah, uh, let's make a decentralized autonomous organization and realize we will three together. Do you have a final comment, Martin? No, I want to thank everyone for being um, here in the crowdcast. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our social networks. We also created our new website, astar.network. And it's also possible to join our newsletter in case you want to stay up to date through email instead of checking uh, Telegram or Discord, because we are aware that, it's, that sometimes you won't see anything coming in because of all those um, announcements on Telegram or Discord. That's why we also created a newsletter. So in case you want to receive emails instead of uh, watching Telegram or Discord, please apply and we will send regular updates to our CRM software and make sure you will get all the latest information about a star network. Thank you. Cool. Yep. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to close the, the crowdcast. <laughs>